Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Valentine's Day, and welcome to another exciting broadcast of Chabot Men's Basketball here on NorCal Sports TV. I am Dominic Carriel, live from Hayward, California. We're on the campus of Chabot College, and do we have a massive matchup for you tonight. Number 30, Skyline College comes in to take on the Chabot Gladiators. Both teams at 18-7 and seven on the season. Skyline, five and four in conference play. The Gladiators are six and three in conference play. They're nine and two here on the home floor. Their last time on the home floor, it was Kenyatta coming in and beating them. And that ended almost a three year conference home winning streak. Kenyatta came in and beat the Gladiators and They've now rattled off three straight losses with losses to Kenyatta, San Francisco, and now San Mateo. And talking with the coaching staff before the game, it's really the team, is they've been in all of these games, especially the four-point loss at San Francisco was a tough pill to swallow for this team. But one thing that you can just point out that you had to put your finger on was the absence of sophomore guard Mikao Mims. Mims averaging double digits this season, and he's gone for 20, 25 points a night when he starts to get hot. He's been out the past two weeks and could be out one to two more with a deep right leg contusion suffered late in the game against Ohlone, and funny enough, that was the last victory that this team had had so it'll be the usual starting five for the gladiators just minus mikhail mims sliding in his spot will be number 23 makai thomas to play that three to four role as we're just about set and ready for tip-off as the gladiators are in the home white 
with black and yellow going from right to left and Skyline. The Trojans from Skyline College are going from left to right. They're in the all black with a little bit of red and a little bit of white trim. And the opening tip is won by DJ Howard. And we are underway in our ball game. This is a massive game to see who will come in second place in the Coast North Conference behind San Francisco. If the Gladiators can win this one, they could possibly get one. They would be pretty much guaranteed one home playoff game and try to hopefully get a second as their opening possession is a turnover from D.J. Howard. And now the Trojans from Skyline who have come in. They come into this game playing some of their best basketball. As Skyline 6-4 and four in their last 10, they've won two games in a row. Into the paint it goes. There's a layup is up and good. As it was Chaka there getting the board. And now DJ Howard was fouled on the way up. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. And there's the foul right there on the slap. It looked like got majority of the basketball there. As now DJ Howard will go to the line to shoot two. 44.8% free throw shooters, DJ Howard, and he misses the first one. A sophomore center from Arbor View High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. A big shot blocker for this team. And the second rattles. It was halfway down and falls out. So the score will remain at 2-0. Gladiators picking up full court like they usually would. Trying to force a couple of turnovers. Skyline does get it over. Now here's the double team and dribbling through it and almost losing it. And now going for the layup. It's up and no good. Howard and that's good job there by Makai Thomas to box out. Noah Thomas inside to Howard. Howard spins baseline. Now kicking it inside, Makai Thomas, his layup is good. Nice little floater by Makai Thomas. A very short bench for this Trojan team. As now it's Richardson. Richardson had his pass stolen by Noah Thomas. Thomas down the lane and lays it in. The breakaway two for Noah Thomas. Loom. Darren Loom looking. And now he's going to find Chata. Chata. Now here's Woodson, the leading scorer on this team. He dropped it off. The ball's loose, and now it's stolen away again. This one's Makai Thomas. He kicks it out. Noah Thomas driving. Marcellus Edwards gets his first touch of the game. Now to Zach Broadus. He's got the smaller defender on him. He's going to go baseline. He's going to rise. And that left-handed little floater was no good. And Chatha throws it away. Marcellus Edwards, he's going to go Euro step, and that shot was blocked by Chatha. Chatha with a monster rejection. Now Richardson has it. Chatha makes up for that bad turnover. And now Richardson looks like he wants a screen. He's just going to give it to Chatha. He's going to work on DJ Howard. Now he does set a screen and pick and pop. Three balls, no good. Broadus grabs the rebound. There's Darren Loom with the three. Thomas gets it to Broadus. Noah Thomas and Zach Broadus have had the burden of picking up the Mikhail Mims points that are gone with him sidelined with an injury. Noah Thomas's jumper, that's too strong, no good. And Chatha gets the rebound. He handed off to Woodson. Woodson's going to drive in. He's going to use the body to perfection and lay it in over Noah Thomas. Makai Thomas, he's going to Euro into the paint. His little floater rolls home. It's good. Makai Thomas with an answer. Achilles Woodson, number three in a black, averaging 17.7 points per game. He's the leading scorer for this Trojan offense. We'll see if they try and get him going. Richardson goes into the paint. He drops it off inside. That's good defense, and that's an even better offensive move 
and layup there by Carlson. Aiden Carlson, the freshman, gets on the board and we're knotted up at six. Makai Thomas, he's going to drive in. He's going to use that body, kick it out. Zach Broaddus, triple, it's short, no good. And the rebound goes to Woodson. Woodson, now Richardson. Into the paint goes Katha. He's fouled and he lays it in. Chatha, here's his block a couple minutes ago, and now he just got the N1, and he'll go to the line. Right there, he was working on DJ Howard, and those hands that came straight up just came a little too late, and the free throw is up and good as both teams made substitutions, or just skyline. as Noah Thomas brings it up the floor. DJ Howard's gonna look. Dribble handoff, Gladiators try and get the switch and Broad has dribbled it off his foot. It's still loose, Noah Thomas has it. He double clutches, gets it to Edwards. 10 to shoot, Edwards into the teeth of the defense. Noah Thomas is fouled on a reach in with five to go on the shot clock. Foul is on number one, Aiden Carlson. It's just his first. Inside, Broaddus the layup is up and good. Good play on the inbound. Had Broaddus come diving down wide open. Good job by Thomas to find him. And it was an easy two for the sophomore guard. Richardson. Sean Richardson. Looking for a screen, now nine to shoot. Richardson off the dribble. He's going to work on Makai Thomas. Good defense here. He gets it back. He's going to fire a three. That one's no good. Fighting for the rebound, and it's going to be deflected out of bounds. Skyline basketball. That was David Shields down low fighting for the basketball and earning the Trojans another possession. Shields gave it up. Now Carlson. Back corner three. It was deflected by Noah Thomas. Big block there by Thomas. As Brady Carson tried to fire a three. Here's Zach Broaddus baseline. He's going to look. He tried to skip it across to Makai Thomas. It was deflected out of bounds. And the Gladiators will have it with 20 to shoot. Marcellus Edwards. You're looking to get a screen from Howard. He does. He goes off the screen, and he was fouled there by Carlson. That's the third team foul, and that's Aiden Carlson's second, so that'll take him out of the game. Demarcus Shields. Comes into the game. Skip pass all the way across. Marcellus Edwards. He's got six to shoot. He's going to fire a three. That one's no good. Look at Noah Thomas fighting for the rebound. Bodies go flying. And there is a foul called on the play. Not sure who it's on. And the referee and they're gonna say Mackay and they're gonna say Noah Thomas was going up to tip that ball in and that's when he was fouled so Noah Thomas will go to line to shoot two the foul was on number three uh, Achilles Woodson and that's just his first as Thomas makes the first Noah Thomas a 67 percent free throw shooter on the season Averaging 16.6 points per game. One, the second leading scorer on this team as he knocks them both down there.
Richardson almost turned it over. And they're going to be a back court violation. So the back and forth. They go. The Gladiators force the turnover. They're going to put 20 on the shot clock for the Gladiators. And their press works to perfection. Edwards now Broadus. Broadus almost had it stolen away, but he reaches over the defender and grits it. Makai Thomas into the paint. He's going to work in there. That's no good. And there's Mateo Hamilton, the rebound, who then lays it up and in. Mateo Hamilton with a tough effort down low, and he laid it up and in. Kicking it now into the corner, looking to drive baseline. Nothing really there and available. And now out of top it goes. Carson, he dropped it off to Shields. And Shields lost it on the way out. And it's out of bounds. Another turnover. That's the fifth Trojan turnover of the first seven minutes. Makai Thomas handing it off. Noah Thomas now. He's going to drive in. Drop it off to Mateo Hamilton. He almost lost it. Now he's going to spot up. Dribble into the paint. Pump fake. And now he'll rise up. And he can't get it to go. He's going to fight for the rebound. It's going to be an over-the-back call, I think. And it is. On Mateo Hamilton. And there it is. It's just right there over the back. That's his, his first, the second team foul. Darren Lum. Lum's got it back. He's going to hand that ball off now, Richardson. Richardson looking to direct traffic. 12 to shoot. It's into the corner. Mateo Hamilton defending. There's a three ball. That's up and no good. And it's deflected around. Mateo Hamilton's got it. It's two on two the other way. He spins away. He's going to get caught up in the air, but somehow get it to Marcellus Edwards, who drops it off to Broadus. I think Broadus wants a screen. Or he's just going to rise up from the elbow and knock it down. The bread and butter there from Zach Broadus. He loves the in-rhythm jumpers. And the Gladiators lead by five. And now Broadus diving on the floor, trying to fight for the steal. The ball is loose. And they're going to have a kick ball. And now look out. Broadus would look like he was trying to get up, and it looked like Sean Richardson may have grabbed the ankle or the leg of some sort. The officials will come together. We'll see when Broadus tries to get up, maybe. There was like a little kick. I'm not sure, but the officials right now conversating. And we'll see if maybe we can find something here. I'm not sure. I think it was when he was trying to get up. We can't really tell.
As firing is brought as that one's up and no good and the rebound now goes to Woodson. And now Woodson was fouled I think on the attempted layup or they're gonna call an offensive foul on the screen. As now they're just going to wipe up the floor. As both teams are making substitutions. It looked like head coach Keenan McMiller wasn't ready for to make substitutions. But now he did. He answered a couple of skyline substitutions now. So both teams going deep into their benches as the Gladiators trail by one. Malik Cobb is going to fire a three, and he got it. Malik Cobb with a big shot. Like Mateo Hamilton, not known for the three-point shooting, but they've both, got a, they've both got a three in this first, first half. Gladiators lead by two again. Working it off the screen now. The Trojans trying to drive baseline. Nothing there for Woodson. Woodson kicks it out, Richardson. Richardson tried to look back door. He's going to work on Noah Thomas. He's going to rise up with a fadeaway, and he, he got it. Sean Richardson with a tough bucket. Makai Thomas brought us. He's got a triple. No good. Rebound Malik Kaba. He couldn't get it to go, but he gets his rebound back. Fighting for it, Malik Kaba. Still on the floor, diving after it. And they're going to call an offensive foul, a loose ball foul on Kaba. And no, they're going to call. They're actually going to call a foul on number three here. Woodson right there on holding Kaba. The way he pointed, it looked like it was an offensive foul, but I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure why the official pointed that it would have been skyline ball, but. Regardless, it's going to be Malik Kaba shooting the one and one. 50% free throw shooter, and he rattles home the first. Each team in the bonus. The Gladiators, if they commit one more foul, would put the Trojans in the double bonus, so they'll be shooting two the rest of the way out. Gladiators still have one more foul till that happens, and that free throw's up and no good, so right on the 50% mark for Kaba. And now Woodson. Lum, quick pass all the way across. Working on it is Carson. He kicks it out. Woodson's going to fire a three. It's good. Woodson bottoms a three. And now it's a two-point Trojan lead. And now Skyline showing a 2-3 or a 3-2 defense here. They're showing the zone. Broadus. Moving it around. Noah Thomas is going to drive. He lost it on the way to the basket. And he will go to the line to shoot two. They're going to say it's not on the floor. It's on the shot. Darren Lum will pick up his first personal. And Noah Thomas' first part of the... Oh, so it was the one and one The way... The official then said, too, I think these officials, this is like their first game working together because there's a lot of miscommunication right now. One official said two shots, and I guess he was overruled on the one and one, so Noah Tama misses the first. And now on the way to the basket and being fouled by Malik Kaba on the drive is Woodson. Kaba called for the foul. It's his first personal, the 10th team. Now Skyline will shoot two for the remainder of the first half. And now Woodson will go to the line. The leading scorer on this team, 17.7 points per game. The freshman point guard, he's a 75.8% free throw shooter as he misses the first. The freshman from Reardon High School. And he makes the second.
Skyline making more substitutions. Broadus. Malik Kaba straight on open triple. It's short, no good. Mateo Hamilton gives the Gladiators an extra possession. Thomas into the paint. He's going to bank it in. Noah Thomas with a good bucket there and the lead down to one. Trying to work it inside, which they do. Chaffetz looking to set a screen. He does. Friedkin gave it up. Lum trying to get it inside and he does over and the layup is no good fighting for it again and getting his own rebound as Shields kicking it back out and now Chatha in the paint drops it off Shields' his layup is good David Shields gets the extra possession on the offensive boards and then he's the beneficiary of the open layup Broadus now Makai Thomas' his jumper that's no good and the rebound is grabbed by Freitkin. Lum gonna work on Makai Thomas. Handing it off, Chatha gets it back to Lum. This time he's defended, kicks it right back out to Carson. Lum inside to Shields. They play pitch and catch, four to shoot, Lum, that's no good. And the offensive rebound is grabbed by Chatha. Inside he goes, that layup is no good. It's tapped around, he's got it right back, and then lays it in. The largest lead of the night for the Trojans is right now, and it stands at five. Noah Thomas spinning, what a move, but he couldn't get the bank to go. There's the two for one shot by the Gladiators. Tried to get a quick shot up as they'll have about nine seconds to get the last shot of the half. Now 10 to shoot for the Trojans. Friedkin dropped it into the corner. There's a three and it's good. Carson hit the three and with 10 seconds to go here in the second half, the Gladiators have him. Makai Thomas, he lost it. On the way up, he's fouled and he lays it in. A huge bucket from Makai Thomas there, and he has an opportunity to get the and one at the line to limit the damage here at the half. As right there, I guess they're going to call the foul and with a little bit of continuation. As Makai Thomas will be at the line to try and complete the and one. 55.8% free throw shooter with 4.5 to go. And he got it. So the lead down to five, 44 seconds to go. Woodson with three, Woodson with one, he lost it. That's gonna count if it's good and it is no good. As Chatha couldn't get it to go. The Gladiators struggled the last four or so minutes of that first half and Skyline took the lead and held onto it. Final 20 minutes coming up in this massive playoff implication game here at Chabot. It's Skyline leading it 37 to 32. We'll have the second half and more coming up after these messages.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching uh, Chabot Men's Basketball here on NorCal Sports TV. I'm Dominic Cariel, live from the campus of Chabot College here in Hayward, California. And this play, basically a playoff game type matchup has lived up to expectations where the Gladiators seem to have a little bit of control early and then a last four-minute bonanza by Skyline to shoot them in front by five. They have the five-point lead to start. The second half, the final 20 minutes to go, the winner of this game will most likely end in second place in the Coast North Conference, and then that will move them into a position to definitely host one playoff game and maybe even a second. Skyline opens the second half with a bucket there by Darren Lum. And this is the largest lead of the night. For the Trojans. They're now going from right to left. Gladiators in the all-white going from left to right. Here's Broadus, and he's going to be called for the offensive foul. Picks up his first personal. And now working it. Chatha handed it off. Now Richardson, Chatha's got it back. Lum going to drive into the paint. He almost lost it, kicked it out. That's going to be an open three, and it's no good. DJ Howard... Got the rebound. It had stripped from him a little bit for a second. But Makai Thomas grabbed it quickly and gave it up to Zach Broadus. Broadus drops it off. There's the layup. He's good. DJ Howard. Good little pick and pop there. Just a nice little pick and roll play. DJ Howard gets the layup. And that opens the scoring bank here in the second half for the Gladiators. Chatha trying to look, and he does finally give it up to Woodson. Woodson off the screen. He's going to fire. That one's no good. Rebound, Makai Thomas. Makai Thomas is going to drive. He's going to spin into the paint. He almost lost it and kicked it out to Marcellus Edwards. Now here's DJ Howard. He's going to work offensively. He's going to jump stop into the paint, and he's fouled on the way up. Jaffa picks up his second personal. As head coach Keenan McMiller trying to will his team to win this game and get off this three-game losing skid as Howard missed the first. And now Howard's got the second So Howard splits a pair, and now the lead's been trimmed down to four. And now almost losing it out of bounds, and almost fouling there was also Marcellus Edwards. But now Skyline's got it with 15 to shoot. Lum's going to work on Howard. Lum, he's going to take a step back three, and that's no good. Howard got the rebound. He dropped it off to Edwards. And now Marcellus Edwards. Howard wants it. He does get it. D.J. Howard is going to work in. He's going to spin right into the double team, then kick it out. Noah Thomas, he's going to drive and kick. Marcellus Edwards, he's going to drive now. He's going to kick. Makai Thomas, foul line jumper, is going to roll home. The shooter-friendly roll. The last time the, these two teams met back in January, the Gladiators won that game 84-75. So this would give them the tiebreaker. And the layup is up and good there from Chaffa. This would give them the tiebreaker and sole possession of second place. And now Noah Thomas will take a three. That's no good. Makai Thomas, the offensive rebound. He's going to kick it right back to Noah Thomas. He lost it on the way up. And they're going to say it goes off of the leg of Noah Thomas and out of bounds. 
as he just lost it on the way up. And the Gladiators showing the full court pressure again. It's just man-to-man -man picking up full court. It's not the trap type of press that they're doing. Look at Carlson down low. That's good defense by Makai Thomas. Chatham's going to work on DJ Howard. Now he goes into the double team. And Howard with a little bit of a block. I think he got a tip on that. And now he'll drop it to Brodus. Makai Thomas will take the open three, and that one was no good. Richardson kicks it out. Lum an open three. That's good. And that will be head coach Keenan McMiller calling time with 16.07 to go in our ball game. It's a 44-7 Trojan lead. We'll be right back. Out of the Gladiator timeout. Skyline's got six remaining. Chabot's got four. Noah Thomas driving kick. Edwards. Now Noah Thomas back to Edwards. Noah Thomas now. Broadus looking to get a screen. He shook his man. Dropped it off. Mateo Hamilton. Eight to shoot now. Skips it into the corner. Noah Thomas catch and shoot three. Got it! Noah Thomas from downtown. That's a huge shot for the Gladiator offense. And the lead back down to four. And good passing inside. And that's going to be a foul. And the layup is not going to go. Noah Thomas picks up his second personal. And Woodson will now go to the line to shoot two. Kyles Woodson at the line, a 75.8% free throw shooter. And it's off front iron and no good. Second team foul for the Gladiators. Skylines just got the one and he missed them both. So Woodson misses both of them. And now the Gladiators trying to bring this back to a one possession game. Here's Broadus off the screen. He's going to fire. That one's no good. Fighting for the rebound. The Gladiators do get it. It's DJ Howard, but then he missed the layup. And Woodson grabbed the rebound. He's going to quickly push it ahead. Two on one down low. He knights through the defense. Doesn't get it. But there's Chatha there to clean it up and lay it in. And then that will be now Skyline calling a timeout, and they're going to call a full timeout on the floor with 14.54 to go. Trojans lead by six. You're watching Chabot Gladiator Hoops on NorCal Sports TV.
Skyline called the timeout. It'll be Gladiators ball now out of that timeout. As it's brought us now. He's going to go. He's going to spin. He's going to drop it off to Mateo Hamilton, who was then fouled on the block attempt there by Chatha. Let's see if we get a look at that one. That one was, was awfully close. I'm surprised. Hamilton. It looked like Hamilton went up to try and dunk that basketball. I was surprised at that, but looks like Chatha got him with the body. As Hamilton, his first is up and good. The 66.7% free throw shooter. While we have a little bit of time here, we'll go to the out-of-town scoreboard as there already is a final in the Coast North Conference as Las Positas took down Kenyatta on the road. As the second is up and good, so that'll keep Kenyatta down in the cellar of the conference and Las Positas picks up another conference victory as well. The only other game going on right now is Ohlone is at San Francisco. Skyline working it around the perimeter. They're trying to find an opening. 10 to shoot now, Woodson. Kicking it back out. Here's Richardson. Richardson with six to shoot. Richardson going to work on Edwards. He's going to have to take the fadeaway. He does, and it's no good. Noah Thomas the rebound. Noah Thomas going into the paint, giving it to Zach Broadus. He's going to scoop the layup. That one was no good. Look at Kaba, the rebound. He's fouled and lays it in. Malik Kaba, the offensive board, the bucket, and the foul. Malad of Chaffa will pick up his third personal. And there's Malik Kaba crashing the glass and laying it in. And that's a huge bucket as Kaba will go to the line, the 50% free throw shooter. He's one for two tonight, and he missed that one. Can't complete the three-point play, but does bring the game within one possession again. Two-point Trojan lead. Now it's Woodson setting it up. Woodson's got it back, 15 to shoot. Trying to get an open three for Carson. Nothing there. Woodson now with eight to shoot. Woodson calls for a screen. He gets one with five, and it's an offensive foul on the moving screen on David Shields. So David Shields... And now that one's no good. David Shields, the offensive foul. And look at Mateo Hamilton trying to grab it and get it. But it's up and no good. As Skyline gets it, it looked pretty close. I thought maybe he threw it off of the man, but I guess not. Skyline ball, and now they're going to call foul on Malik Kaba on the trip as David Shields went down. And just a quick score update in that other game. 14 minutes to go in that City College game. They're actually trailing Ohlone by 13 at home right now. And we'll check back in with that one a little bit later. And it's another offensive foul by David Shields. Second personal, two quick offensive fouls on illegal screens. Just right there, he just kind of is moving for sure. Here's Edwards. Squaring up. Edwards, kind of a quiet night for him. Noah Thomas for three, that's no good. And Mateo Hamilton just had the rebound go through his waiting hands. Woodson, he's defended by Broadus. Trojans. Trying to get a little something going. There's a dribble handoff. Now defended by Edwards. Goodson just knifes through the defense. Kicks it out. It's a corner three, and it's no good. Kaba, the one-handed rebound. Quickly up to Broadus. Three on three the other way. Now Broadus kicking it out. Noah Thomas. Edwards 
slowing it down. He's going to drive. He's going to Euro. He's going to use the left hand. He got it in the foul. Tough bucket, Marcellus Edwards. And he's going to go to the line to try and give the Gladiators the lead. A 6-0 Gladiator run has tied this game. And there's the Marcellus Edwards and one. As credited with the block there was Brady Carson. It's his first personal. Edwards, a 75.7% free throw shooter. The freshman from Spates Academy will put the Gladiators in front. A 7-0 Gladiator run. And now it's a steal. Malik Kaba after the turnover. Kaba kicks it out. Noah Thomas, he's going to drive. He almost lost it. Get it to Broadus. Looked like Broadus was going to pull up from three there the way he looked down. But he's going to go. He's fouled. Darren Lum got his hand in there and hit Broadus on the arm. Lum picks up his second here. You'll see right there, right on the elbow. And that will send Zach Broadus to the line to shoot two. 76.5% free throw shooter. And he knocks down the first. He's the leading scorer on this team, averaging 19.4 points per game. He's a 45% shooter from the field and he knocks down the second Gladiators lead by three a 9-0 run to give them the lead in his combo with the rejection Edwards got the rebound and then he was fouled hard as he fell down awkwardly he's holding the back here and they're going to call a jump ball here actually the call on the floor is a jump ball, possession arrow, Gladiators. Here's the Kaba block on the floater. And then there. And he just kind of just goes down hard. He's popped up now and ready to go. Possession arrow is now pointed in the way of Skyline. It's... It looked, like, it looked like Edwards just had the rebound and then was fouled going down, but referee saw it different. Malik Kaba, open triple, no good. Woodson quickly ahead, Kaba picked it off. Like a defensive back, Kaba makes the catch. Now he's going the other way, spins in the paint. He, oh, they're going to call an offensive foul. The motion that the referee is making, he's saying stiff arm. That's Kaba's third personal. And we'll see if we've got an angle of it. The official was pointing as a stiff arm motion is the way that they did it. Or the way that Kaba tried to get separation on the spin move. Either way, it's an offensive foul and a turnover. Edwards almost knocked it away from Woodson. Now 12 to shoot. Here's Carson. Carson now 10 to shoot. He's going to try and drive. He's going to try and pull up. There's nothing there. Chatha in the paint. He's going to rise up. That's no good. Hamilton the rebound. Broadus in transition in the paint. He's going to rise. It's off the side of the backboard. And Kaba somehow gets the rebound. He's just going to kick it out. Noah Thomas. Marcellus Edwards has Thomas. He's got it. Thomas. Three. No good. And fighting for the rebound. And it's going to be out of bounds off of Kaba. See if we have one more angle at that offensive foul. Is it, they're gonna the they're gonna call I guess the forearm out. It's hard to do that on a spin move is kind of what I'm thinking, but either way, Gladiators. That was their fourth team foul, and Skyline has seven, so the Gladiators are in the bonus right now. There's a three from Lum. That one was all no good, but it goes through the hands of Broadus off his shoulder and out of bounds. Broadus can't believe it, but it looked like from where we are, it did go off of him. I'm not sure. 
Nine to shoot for the Trojans. Trying to get it in to Chaffa. They do. And now he's doubled, and he's going to be called for a foul on D.J. Howard. And they're going to call that the hands came down, and we'll see again. Did, How did Howard's hands come down, or were they just straight up? Oh. That's pretty close there. Either way, we'll end up chaff. Chatha will go to the line to shoot two. And his first is up and good. A 68.5% free throw shooter. Another freshman on this young team. Went to Fremont High School in Sunnyvale, California. And the first or the second is up and no good. And that ends that ends that 9-0 gladiator run. As Broad is trying to drive baseline. He's going to spin away from his man. Defended nicely now in the paint. He throws up. It's just in the traffic. Noah Thomas gets it. Now out to Edwards. Edwards a wide open three. Got it! Marcellus Edwards from downtown. I think when he got that ball, he couldn't believe how wide open he was. Took a deep breath and knocked down the three. Chatha had it knocked away by Hamilton, but he regains possession now with 15 to shoot. Chatha going in, and he traveled with it. And here's a three. You can see Edwards just couldn't believe how wide open he was. And the Gladiators really starting to push this thing now. Edwards calls off a screen. Gets it to Makai Thomas. Hand off Edwards. On the dribble move into the paint. Pump fake. He's going to move. Scoop layup. No good. Chatha the rebound, now Lum. Chatha looking to get somebody off a screen. And just nothing available. That was really good defense, and that's going to force head coach Justin Pergrossi to call timeout. And he's going to turn that to a full timeout on the floor. 9-0-1 to go in our ballgame. The Gladiators have shot in front by four. Out of the skyline timeout. There's Chatha. He had it knocked away. And now Makai Thomas gets the steal. And he saved it. What a play. Broadus walks it up. Hands it off. And now Noah Thomas into the paint. That's no good. And tapping it out was Makai Thomas. But nothing was there. Chatha trying to go. And he goes through the body of Edwards. And it's an offensive foul. Great job there by Marcellus Edwards to set the feet. Set the feet right there and just goes right into it. And that's Chatha's fourth. So that's a big foul called there. Now Edwards gets it to Makai Thomas. Thomas now brought us down low. Brought us. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Zach Broadus. And again, he's going to go with the forearm push-off. The foul is called. And that's Broadus' second. Chabot still leading by four. 
And the next Chabot foul will put the Trojans in the bonus as well. Gladiators already in the bonus. Skyline having 18 fouls. Around the perimeter, Skyline's looking to work. Oh, he had Richardson open in the paint. But Lum's got it now with 12 to shoot, and now there's foul on the floor. It looked like Makai Thomas. Yeah, and it was Makai Thomas who just tried to run through a screen. As he picked up his second, and that is the seventh team, so now we'll move to the one and one. Brady Carson will go to the line. An 84.6% free throw shooter. And the first one rattles home. It is good. And the second one is up and good as well. Lead down to two. Gladiators have gone on a little bit of a shooting slump recently here in the past couple minutes. Makai Thomas looking. More cutting, and that's a dangerous pass. Somehow brought it, got it, and he laid it in in the foul. Just a dangerous pass from Makai Thomas. Turns into a beautiful assist to Zach Broaddus, who got fouled on the way up. And the foul was called on Aaron Friedkin, and that's his first. As Broaddus bottoms the free throw, and the lead is up to five. Gladiators looking for a trap, and it looks like they may have it, and just one second too late. Lum is going to fire a three, and it was short, no good. It may have even got deflected, and now there's going to be a foul in transition, and that will send Noah Thomas to the line to shoot two. Sean Richardson picks up his fourth personal. Just the little bump it looked like there. As it's no longer in the one and one, the double bonus the Gladiators are in. And Noah Thomas, 67% free throw shooter, the sophomore transfer as the first one is up and good. Hometown Chico, California. And he transferred out of Oregon Tech University to come here. A great find for head coach Keenan McMiller. As he reloaded the guards this season. As Thomas' second is good, he knocks it down. Gladiators lead by seven. Their largest lead of the night is right now. Carlson in the paint. Carlson's layup is no good. He missed it. And now here's Noah Thomas. Thomas quickly up the floor. Noah Thomas into the paint. He drops it off the pass and he lays it in. Not quite the lob, but the finish was there. And Skyline will call time. Gladiators lead by nine with 7.08 to go. In the ball game. We'll be right back right after this.
after the Skyline timeout, they've got three remaining now. Chabot's got four. 7.08 to go in our ball game. The Gladiators have come out firing in this half. Gladiators just showing the full court man-to-man -man that they like to do. And now it's backed out of. And now working it is Carlson. He hands it off to Carson. Back to Carlson. Carlson off the dribble. Going to work on Thomas. Or that's Mateo Hamilton, excuse me. Thrown away. And now 10 to shoot for Woodson. Woodson kicks it across. Carson's going to have to fire. It's a deep three. And that one was short. No good. Noah Thomas will grab the rebound. Marcel Edwards spinning into the paint. He lost control of it. Drops it off. Now Zach brought a scoop layup is up and good on the reverse. And it's an 11-point Gladiator lead. Thrown inside to a wide open man, but good help defense there by Marcellus Edwards. Carlson spinning away, dropping it off. Woodson. Woodson trying to go in the pain. His shot is up and good. A nice little floater there by Woodson. Broadus looking to get a screen from Hamilton. He does get one. Broadus just trying to go ISO. Kicks it out. Makai Thomas. Makai Thomas in the pain. He's working. Gets it to Noah Thomas. Nice little move, but he lost it on the way up and then laid it up and in. Noah Thomas with the bucket. And now here's Woodson. Woodson looking to drive. Stutter move. That's no good. Broadus flying high for the rebound. Broadus quickly up the floor. He's going to drop it off. Makai Thomas's layup is no good. Noah Thomas gets the rebound and lays it in. And then they're going to call a flop on the floor. And remember now, there's no more warning. The warning is gone for flopping, so now it just goes to the technical free throw. And the Gladiators will send Marcellus Edwards to the line, the 57.7% free throw shooter, as he'll shoot the technical free throw. We'll see here. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's pretty close. Five minutes to go in a close game with big implications. A flop call is huge there as that ends up being a three-point play and the Gladiators lead by 14. Here's Woodson. Richardson now. Here's Lum. He's had a great game and the layup is up and no good and he's fouled. Lum has been a real bright spot for this Skyline team tonight. As you'll see it right there, just on the quick little swipe in. Fouls on Mateo Hamilton. That's his second personal. And the first free throw is up and rolls home. Gets the shooter friendly roll. We'll see there. They, I think they got the number wrong on that because... There was contact, but it definitely wasn't by Mateo Hamilton there. And the Gladiators make a substitution. As the free throw is up and good. Coming into the game for the first time tonight is Brian Ayun. Under five to go in the ball game. Gladiators a lead by 12. Edwards doesn't use the screen from Hamilton. Behind the back dribble, in the paint, spinning away. He's going to fly up, and he was fouled. As the foul was called on Sean Richardson, and the scoreboard has it here as his fifth, but I think it is his fourth. As Marcel Edwards is at the line, and he knocks down the first. What? 
Edwards' is second is up and no good. Fall fell off a little bit to the right. And now working into the paint is Woodson, and that shot is up and good. Woodson just goes pure iso there and then has the scoop right-handed layup. And it was nicely done high off the glass. Edwards. Looking to get a screen from Hamilton. Doesn't use it. Gets it to Broadus now. Broadus with 12 to shoot. Broadus working. He's going to rise up and knock it down. And head coach Keenan McMiller will call a full timeout on the floor. 4.06 to go. Gladiators clinging to a 13-point lead. We'll be right back. After the Gladiators called timeout, each team's got three remaining with 4.06 to go in our ballgame. As it will be a skyline inbound after the made basket by Broadus. As now Woodson. Mateo Hamilton, good job defending. Now it's back to Woodson. Woodson going to go right through, and they're going to call Marcellus Edwards for the foul on the swipe down. It looked like he may have got the ball clean, but regardless, Woodson would have had a wide open layup as he regained possession. We'll see if he gets the ball here. Looked like he did get the ball, but could have been fouled. Called the foul on the follow through as the first free throw is up and no good. Gladiators in the double bonus and the next Gladiator foul will put the Trojans in the double bonus. So no more of the one and one as Broadus kicks it out. Noah Thomas looking over his options. Now a 12 to shoot. Off the screen from Hamilton. Pick and pop to Hamilton. Down low. That layup's no good. And grabbing the rebound is Lum. Lum going to work on Hamilton. Lum drops it off. Here's Woodson. Woodson looking. Now Lum. He won't be afraid to shoot that ball from deep. Lum again into the paint. He's going to rise up. Little floater. No good. Hamilton the rebound. Edwards slowly up the floor. Now he's going to beat his man off the dribble. Kick it back out, Noah Thomas. He thought about the three, but instead he'll dribble it back out and take maybe 10 more seconds off. Here's Noah Thomas. Down low to Makai Thomas, and that's Brian Ayun actually down low. Ayun lays it in. And the Gladiator bench wanted another flop call, which surprising after you called the one, you don't call another one, but we're good with the no call there. Good pass inside. Friedkin kicks it out. Here's Richardson, Friedkin, looking now Richardson, 10 to shoot, he's gonna fire a deep three, and he knocked it down! John Richardson hits the triple. Broadus under some pressure from Richardson, Richardson's got four fouls, now he's gonna rise up, that one's no good, Ayun gets the rebound, but he went over the back. Brian 
So Brian Ayun picks up the foul. And now it's the 10th team foul. And now it's the double bonus. And that will send Darren Lum to the line. A 90.6% free throw shooter. As automatic as they come. The sophomore guard from Lincoln High School in or from San Francisco. Averaging 12.9 points per game. As the first free throw is up and no good. And I have to think that was my fault. As a 6'3 sophomore. As the second part of the bonus is up and good. And a substitution is called. And head coach Keenan McMiller is going to call a timeout as he's assuming that there could be some type of press of some sort by Skyline to try and create some turnovers. 2-0-4 to go in the ball game. Gladiators lead by 11. Gladiators called their third timeout of the half as here is Skyline showing that press as it's more of just like a full court man-to-man. Broadus almost lost it off the dribble as here comes a double. Now it's a triple, but they dribble out of it. Edwards now Broadus will hold. We're under two minutes to play now. Broadus squaring up with 10 to shoot. Brought us with eight, brought us with seven, with six, kicking it out. Edwards now, Ayun for three, got it! Brian Ayun from downtown, and is that the dagger? With 90 seconds to go, Gladiators lead by 14. It's into the corner. Richardson driving, blocked by Broadus. Rebound, Thomas, and Noah Thomas is fouled there by Carlson. Brian Ayun off the bench and into the score sheet. It's a massive three down the stretch. And does that keep the Gladiator playoff hopes alive? And that's followed up by the broadest block from behind. Noah Thomas at the line with two free throws to try and put this game away as he knocks down the first. Noah Thomas is second. And it is up and no good. But the rebound there goes to Shields. Freikin. Dropping it off. Carson inside to Carlson. Carlson's going to have to go up and he lays it in with the left hand. And falling back is Skyline. And I think it's looking like they may just concede this. Down 13 with a minute to go. Gladiators will definitely run this thing all the way down. As Marcellus Edwards diving to the paint. That one was no good. And the rebound quickly goes to Freikin. He kicked it out. Carson, that's a deep two foot on the line. It's up and no good. Fighting for it is Noah Thomas. And he doesn't grab the rebound. Here's Carlson for three. That one was too long. Brought us the rebound. Shot clock turned off. And it looks like... Justin Pagrosi, head coach for the Trojans, is going to wave his team back, and the Gladiators are going to hold on with a monster second half and pick up a massive, massive win here in the in the North Coast Conference play as they will end. They will end the three-game skid, and it is a huge. Huge, massive win for the Gladiators. They win it 75-62. to 62. 
we like to thank everybody for tuning into our broadcast this evening. And remember that without you, none of this would be possible. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell next to that subscribe button as that will give you a notification anytime that we are live. Please go ahead and follow us on all social media platforms as well, and that'll be at NorCal Sports TV. And we'd like to remind you of, and to tune in to our next exciting broadcast of Chabot Gladiator Men's Hoops here on NorCal Sports TV, and that will be next Friday, the 23rd, as they take on Ohlone in the conference finale and season finale for this Gladiator team tip-off will be around 7 p.m., and you can find all the action here on NorCal Sports TV. I'd like to thank my crew, of course, with Amos over in the main camera and Ronnie down here as well. And thank you to my great producer, Levi Flores. Did a great job for these two games as we remind you of the final score. It's a 75-62 Gladiators victory as I am... Dominic Cariel saying happy Valentine's Day and so long from Chabot College.